What's going on everyone? This is Ivan and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. Today we are taking the NAMI Klima Max and we are going to do a full commute experience video. We'll be going from Queens to Manhattan on the first half of the video and going back from Manhattan to Queens on the second half of the video. So if you've ever been curious to see what it's like to navigate the city on a high performance scooter like Anami Klima Max, or you want to see the sights and sounds of New York, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. It's good to have you on board today. If it's your first time joining us, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, it's good to have you back. Just like every full commute experience video, I want to go over a few things just so we're on the same page and you know what to expect. On the right over here, with my right, by my right hand, you're going to see my phone. I have the Relive app running. That means at the end of each of the sections of this video, we're going to have a recap of the ride. That means we're going to show you the route that we took, as well as some of the fun stats that were generated on this ride. Down below, you're going to see chapters. I understand that videos like these are a long time commitment, so I hope that the chapters make it easier for you to navigate the video. So if you had to step away for any reason, hopefully it makes it easier for you to resume where you left off. Or if you want to revisit your favorite part, you can do that as well. And finally, because this is a full commute experience video, we will not be editing out any of the pauses, the stops, or the mistakes. I want to give you as immersive of a ride as possible, so we're going to keep everything as intact as we can. Whew. Man, it's really cold. And with all that out the way, I just want to remind everybody that I am an affiliate of Fluid Free Ride for Scooters, Beyond Riders for Body Armor, Shred Lights for PEV Lighting, and Insta360 for Action Cameras. So if you want to support the channel at no additional cost to you, and sometimes at even a small discount, feel free to use the links that I have in the video's description as well as the first comment pinned down below. So the biggest difference that we're going to do from today's ride with what we normally do is I want to give you a play-by-play -play of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, this is something that I've been thinking about doing for a while now. And something that's come highly requested. Uh, we are... Everyone kind of wants to know why I make the decisions I make and why we go the direction that we go. So, uh, today's commentary will be based on that instead of the usual vlogging style that we normally do where we'll chit chat about life and chit chat about things that are going on. So we made that right there instead of going uh, straight all the way into Manhattan because uh, it seemed like it was quite packed down that way. So I'm hoping that the usual route though not as interesting as the uh, sticking with the cars over there might be a bit more open. We just had to wait there. The one thing that you'll notice is we'll be swimming in, out of, in and out of the bike lanes today depending on where we are. Sometimes it's just more efficient to stay in the bike lane and sometimes it's just more efficient to uh, ride with the cars. So here we're going to choose to ride with the cars because it seems fairly open and I was pretty much right. We haven't done this route in a while, so, well, at least on camera. I know you've seen this 
dozens of times if you've been with the with the channel since the beginning so I hope you enjoyed the the new style of commentary here uh, you're gonna see me look down a lot because I'll be uh, relying on my side mirrors in order to be able to see what's going on on my peripherals and what's going on behind me what I'm probably gonna do here is since ooh, that guy's looking to die since it's quite packed here for some reason I might jump in the bike lane in a little bit it is a Tuesday rush hour uh, morning rush hour it's uh, 8 30 so I'm kind of hoping that it's not that busy but this is not a good sign so far but we'll we'll make it work okay there we go Whew, made that light So on this area, we're choosing to stay with the cars just because the thing is over there on the right side, there's quite a bit of pedestrian traffic sometimes and then random people kind of jumping into the bike lane as well as this little cafeteria here. Uh, it's a ghost kitchen and a lot of those mopeds kind of hang out there and they'll, they'll randomly just jump into the bike lane and, you know, it's not fun to have people randomly jumping in your way so that is that on this part right here we are going to switch into the bike lane because this will take us basically directly into Manhattan Pardon the sniffles and um, <laughs> pardon the muffled sound. I have a uh, a chrome uh, neck warmer thing under here that'll keep that's keeping my my face warmer. So okay, yeah, the congestion's already starting. Hey skate guy these bike lanes are quite narrow so we're gonna try and use probably that opening up there to try and get around everybody here but it seems that everyone's just chilling around like 18 to 20 miles an hour and Eastgate guy is not even wearing any gloves, and that's crazy. So I'm going to try and get around them here. Yeah, that's that's pretty insane. I mean, uh, props to homie for riding, but geez, it is very cold to not be wearing gloves. I believe it's um, 33 degrees right now. So that means that speed is much colder. Yeah, look at that congestion on the left side. These are just people trying to drive into work. That's pretty insane. <laughs> so we're taking it a little bit easy here because we had to be careful with this narrow bike lane and the pedestrian walkway there on the right side. You're going to see it come up in a little bit here once we pass this orange cone. The pedestrian lane and the bike lane kind of merges, like right there. So we always have to be careful. And then also here is the subway station. So if people are coming out of there, see, just like that, they're usually not paying attention. So it's best that we are riding defensively. And like that already almost to the 59th street bridge you gotta check over there because sometimes bikes come out of nowhere blasting that way i 
As you can also see on my dashboard here, we're running my custom uh, commute settings. So we are chilling here. We are kind of taking it easy. We left the house, I believe, with 78% battery. We're down to 68 in this freezing cold, but it is what it is. Yeah. Despite the cold, I don't know if you can see this, this is pretty freaking congested. Uh, we are going to take it easy because it's very congested and there's quite a bit of oncoming traffic on the side. Hey, one wheeler. We're going to take our opportunities when they come. Um, there isn't really going to be much room to overtake here unless you're going to go like full on like reckless mode and the one thing that you'll learn about me is yes I am an aggressive rider but I won't be reckless about things and here we're going to gently overtake the cyclist guy and then if there's room here on the left I'm going to pass the scooter Cold doesn't deter people. Okay. It doesn't help that we have two bikes basically side by side there, but it is a bike lane, so we're not going to rush them. We're not going to honk them. We're, we're trying to share it as peacefully with them as possible. Now's the best time. Yeah, these city bikers are far more dangerous than we are. Okay, thank God. Woo! Finally, a little bit of an opening. We can speed it up a little bit here. But once again, we're gently overtaking because you don't want to be blasting past people at 40 miles an hour when it's this congested. So, we're just enjoying the commute in. And we are going to go right here to overtake my good sir. One thing that we do have to be careful of are those guys in yellow jackets because honestly, they're not really paying attention and they will just randomly jump into the bike lane. So I get it, you're at work and you're not really thinking, but It is an active bike lane, so you gotta take it easy, homie. You can't just jump into the bike lane, but that's besides the point. Oh my god, it's so windy! <laughs> it's so cold! Oh, I'm not prepared for this. We had 70 degree weather for the last week and a half, basically, or week, and now it's like to have 33 degrees again I'm a bit sad <laughs> I thought riding season was upon us but here we are little bunny hop there and here we go we got a couple of construction guys So with this next section coming up here, uh, there's a sign here that says slow. Uh, we generally slow down here because the lanes get tighter, even tighter than you would see up there. If the pedestrian lane was clear, we would normally use that, but there's pedestrians there, so we'll, we'll stay on the bike lane here. And while I'm here, I'm also keeping an eye on that 
traffic light up there. I'm trying to see if the uh, stop signal is coming up, which it is. That means that I can go straight here. And we are going to go this way. Like I said, we're going to be jumping in and out of the bike lanes because sometimes there's a bike lane, sometimes there's not. So, like this area here, no bike lane, so we're going to just try and navigate the congestion. What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? Ah, I see what's going on here. Garbage pickup is causing all kinds of havoc. Okay, so... As you can see, we are slowly kind of trying to filter our way up front here. All the bikes and me. So, everyone always gets mad for um, what we're doing here called uh, filtering to the front. A lot of us PEV users, a lot of us cyclists, and even back then when I was still a fixed gear rider here in New York, we would actually filter to the front, this little area here, because you hear constant stories of, uh, unfortunately, anyone not in a vehicle getting sandwiched in between two cars because the car was not paying attention. So I'd rather not be a sandwich. So... I filter my way to the front. And now that we are in Manhattan, that means we're only about five or so minutes away from the office. So we've made extremely good time. What I'm going to do is, once we get to the part where I'm by the office, um, I'll chop the video there, and then we'll resume for the ride home. This is the part where I appreciate the NAMI's torque and the NAMI's top speed, because honestly, it's plenty to keep up with traffic like this. electric city bikes can do it we can do it these freaking mopeds man I swear to god one of these days oh stuck behind a bus I can't see because my Visor's fogging up, which we're going to open that up. It'd be nice. Uh, okay, so since <laughs> there was so much fog uh, on my visor there, I couldn't necessarily make the moves that I wanted, but here we are. Making the moves. I don't even remember what I was saying, y'all. But, once again, filtering to the front so that we can stay out of the pedestrian lanes and prevent ourselves from getting sandwiched. It's actually, even though it is Tuesday rush hour, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, honestly. And here we are. We're going to signal here so that they know where we're going. It's just a matter of swimming through the pedestrians. Okay, we're going to stay here on this side. 
Oh, I hope we can make this light. Please make this light. Please, 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 please. Okay. Oh, thank God. I hate getting stuck here. And Sea of Human Beings. Fantastic. And they're the ones that get mad at us even though they go whenever the heck they want to. Well, everybody, we're here. So, with the magic of editing, we're going to go through 10 hours of work and I'll see you guys later. I'm pulling over here into the city bike lane just so it's easier for me to stop. All right, y'all. I'll catch you after work. everyone like I said with the magic of editing we are now resuming 10 hours after I began working and we are heading home <sighs> so pardon my voice if it sounds a little worn I've been speaking to clients and doing meetings and presentations and taking phone calls and doing web presentations and, you know, all that fun stuff for the last uh, nine and a half, ten hours. So my voice may sound a little worn, but that's okay. We're going to continue doing, like we did in part one of this video, the commute. I'm going to walk you through it. We still have the Relive app running here on the right side. So... We're going to have a recap of this ride as well. And you're probably wondering, Ivan, why are you in the bus lane? That's because on Madison Avenue, we bicyclists and alternative transport do not have a lane to use. So the safest lane for us to actually use is the bus lane here. So. The only thing that we do got to be careful of, just like there, is these last minute turns where the guy doesn't signal. But, I'm glad we caught that on film because you wouldn't have believed me. And we're going to navigate our way into the regular lane here because of this congestion. But, like I said, we're going to continue to narrate just like with the way we did earlier today <laughs> and pardon if like i said i'm uh fumbling for words here sometimes after a long day of just talking uh it's hard to to keep talking <laughs> and we might actually turn earlier than expected here because I'm trying to find a place to make a right because once it opens up here we just gotta be careful of those potholes actually our right turns coming up right here but it's blocked by this car and we kind of just made our way through that red along with the bus here and like I said there is no rhyme or reason as to why New Yorkers choose to run reds I don't remember if we if I mentioned this earlier today but we generally 
just do it by feel and by eye. Someone asked me if I can go over why. Um, sometimes there is no real rhyme or reason with the way traffic flows here in New York. Just like the way there's no rhyme or reason as to why there's constant cars like these parked in the bike lanes or why people are going the wrong way. It's just, you just kind of flow with it just like there. There was no cars, no traffic. And I saw an opening and I kind of went for it. And again here, I filter my way to the front because I want to make sure that once again, I don't end up as a car sandwich or as the filling in between a car sandwich. There's also no rhyme or reason to when pedestrians are going to cross. So, you know, you just kind of shrug and you just mark it down as that's just New York being New York. But here, we're also being conscious of staying away from these gigantic potholes. So we're moving in and out of the bike lane. We just had to move a little bit closer or a little bit slower here as uh, pedestrians like to cross here regardless of traffic light. Uh, even though we got three seconds to make this light here, we're just trying to try to make it and then, oh, don't know what that is, that's paper, but yeah. I'm checking my right view mirror here because we are trying to make our way over because we got to make this right into the bike lane here. And now this bike lane will take us back into Queens. So that's the Queensboro Bridge or the Ed Koch Bridge. Depending on how long you've been a New Yorker, it's either 59th Street Bridge, Queensboro Bridge, or Ed Koch. See? So again, the cop right there was like, yeah, just do, just go. signaling here we're gonna make this left and we are already on our way back into Queens and since we are at the halfway point of the video I do want to thank you for joining me on this ride I, I really do appreciate your support uh, if you like the video please consider giving it a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel it lets me know that you like the commentary and you like the style of video and it lets the algorithm know that it should be shared with more and more people so helps me out quite a bit and in the comment section down below let me know how you like this commentary or what type of commentary you'd like to hear if you'd like me to expand on certain things uh, during these rides. Right now, we're just kind of filtering our way through the traffic and taking the openings when we can. So if you have any questions about that, let me know in the comment section. Or if you just want to say hi, say hi in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. You know I respond to everything, even the shade. It's been quite a bit of shade lately, but you know, it's the internet. It's shady in general, so you take it with a grain of salt and you go from there. Ah, oh, this guy's ducking and weaving. Ah. And since I keep getting distracted here, uh, if you like my content, a great way to support the channel for free is subscribing. On the bottom right of the screen, you'll see an icon with my logo on it. Click on it and it'll automatically subscribe you to the channel. Oh, they're doing repairs on the side. Yikes. And if you do subscribe, just make sure you turn on that bell notification so that I can notify you anytime a video comes out. 
whether it's e-scooter, e-bike, e-skate, e-moto, e-whatever, it's going to be happening every Friday at 8 a.m. now that we're back on track. And like I said earlier, it's not as congested as this morning, but we're still taking it pretty easy. And we are taking the opportunity to gently overtake when we can. This person seems to be very unstable. I'm not sure if he's not paying attention or what, but we had to be very careful with this overtake here. Okay, now we got past that. Ooh, Super 73. So fun note, um, while we have a little bit of time here without any commentary, I just found out that my boss, uh, my new boss, uh, he, we just met him about a couple of months ago when the new project started. Uh, the, the, the new head that I report to is actually quite interested in Super 73. And I showed him, you know, a couple of things that are going on in the Super 73 community, like group rides and things like that. He's coming from the world of motorcycles and he's got a Ducati right now, but for someone like him, he's thinking of a way to avoid the seven, wait, what is it? $12 congestion tax that's going to be charged to motorcyclists to get into Midtown. So he's like, oh man, I haven't been thinking about this Super 73 and you know, I kind of helped him out with answer a few questions there. Of course, nobody really knows that I make content, so it's still a little bit of a secret. We're taking it easy to uh, take a peek here, but yeah, showed him a few pictures, introduced him to some resources, and yeah, hopefully he gets a Super 73. I'm gonna ride my scooter, uh, my Super 73 at the end of the month when it stops raining a little bit so that he can try it out. But now that we're back here in Queens, we're, uh, let's get back to the commentary. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to keep track of the traffic that's there on the right. Uh, if those cars are going, that means that I'm clear to make this right turn here. We just got to be careful of those pedestrians. And we're basically in the clear. Oh, bunny hop it a little bit and then here we're gonna make a left because we need to get onto the uh, northern boulevard portion that'll bring us home and this is basically the last leg wow this commute is flying 11 minutes in and we've covered some good some good mileage here despite the congestion so we will be moving back and forth in between the bike lane and the, the road here because things like this, you just gotta be careful because they might open their door. Also, I wanna slow down a bit here because my nose is super itchy for some reason there we kind of uh the bikes just tend to go on these on these lights here no rhyme or reason we just kind of keep an eye out on the right and the left there and just keep going so we take our time take it easy but i'm probably gonna jump in on the left here since a bit more open yeah it's definitely much more open I'm, I'm surprised that it's this open, but I guess we'll stick with the cars all the way through here. I can get in front of these guys if this turns green, boom. And then I signal, I get in here. And then I can take this little sliver and make my way up. There we go. Usually, 
if we're in this bike lane on the right we use that as an opportunity to get into this open lane here because it's dangerous over there as you can see that guy just unnecessarily opened his door out of nowhere without really looking so we just got to be careful with that and we just keep going avoid this mess here and we pull up behind I think that's an aerial everyone runs their tires so soft it's crazy and we are almost there wow way to block the lane bro like Jesus my man's a little squirrely but that's okay hmm the question is do I make a right coming up here or do I keep going straight straight gives me higher speeds but if I go right it allows me to kind of avoid all that mess that's up that way. Um, you know what? Let's go make a right. So we'll start signaling here. Oh, that guy almost got cut off. And these vehicles, did really, no respect. Now you're confused? I'm gonna go around him because apparently he doesn't know where he is or what planet he's on. That's okay. And we take this nice little turn here, counter steering a little bit. And we take this turn here and we counter steer a little bit. Da 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 da. Learn about counter steering in that MSF course. Helps you with those figure eights and those uh, U turns. So counter steer on the scooter. Here, we operate like a vehicle, so we pull up here like we're going to turn, and then we're good. And then this is basically the last stretch here. Now we get to kind of chill a little bit. Let's see, we started this commute at 79%. We are at 53% battery, and even though it is... 40 degrees right now and 30 degrees this morning battery's holding up pretty well here we just got to be careful because a lot of cars are turning here and some of them don't see us so we just chill and as you can see like even as a New Yorker, I spend a lot of time waiting at lights. Like, I'm never in that much of a rush where I'm just constantly blasting through red lights. Um, I know I get a lot of flack for being the person that runs through reds occasionally. Um, but personally, If I see that thing flashing and it's only a couple of seconds, I don't mind waiting. I'm, I'm chilling. At the end of the day, I want to get home to my wife and, you know, live to see another day. So maybe if I were in a rush, I'd be doing more reckless things. But I feel like regardless, people do reckless things in when they're in a rush anyway. So to each their own. I know a lot of folks get mad. They're like, Ivan, you ran that red light. Because of that, the butterfly effect is going to kick in. And the, the cosmos is going to collapse on itself. And rest in peace, Akira Toriyama, now that he's gone, we don't have the Dragon Balls to resurrect the planets. And all because you ran a red light, you know. <laughs> Uh, I get it, I get it, I get it. So that's why I thought commentary like this, explaining the um, choices that I make and the reason why 
I choose what I choose and kind of like the play-by-play -play would help I would say get you into my mindset and help me help understand why we New Yorkers kind of do what we do. Pardon the squeaking brakes. The brake discs are disgustingly dirty. And see, that turned green, so we're all good. Yeah, the brakes are gross, but it is what it is. And then from here, we're just literally making it to the last leg. And we'll be home soon. That was basically a, what? 10 mile round trip commute that we're about to do and you'll notice here by the way even though I need to get to that street over there I take the actual roundabout way to get there and that's not just to get miles tacked on to the to the distance meter here that's just because I follow the flow of traffic and once again those are like the little things that we New Yorkers like to follow so call us crazy but that's how we do that is how we do I'm gonna signal here anything going on there that I need to be aware of nope it's clear so now we go Ooh. what is this what is going on here I don't know but I don't care. Well, with that, thank you for joining me on this ride. Like I said, let me know what you thought of the commentary. And I'm going to finish it up here. So remember, ride safe out there. It's always crazy. Always wear your safety gear. And I will catch you on the next video. Peace out, y'all. See you later.